So the R90 was so important for BMW motor. Actually paved the way for this motorcycle. When we launched the R90, very soon we found out the people love the puristic, the mechanical side of the motorcycle, of the motorcycle. And this was so important for us to get these answers from the market, for us to get the guideline, let's say, for this project. So the logical consequence was to go back into time to in, in our own history and see what BMW stands for. What, what was the past of BMW? What kind of motorcycle have we done in the past? So we had a look in our classic department and there we find some beautiful motorcycles. Like especially back in the 30s when the bikes had still rigid frames. This was the time when the fly line was the most beautiful one. So we picked especially the R5 from the 30s and we had a closer look and we found so many beautiful elements. And so we did our homework, let's say. We, we had a closer look to some uh, specific elements and we had the idea to transport these in the modern times. So the history was actually the idea behind it. And now we started this project in this way and we've been so happy that we found these uh, clean solutions also for this motorcycle. So the R90 was so important for BMW Motorrad. Actually it paved the way for this motorcycle. When we launched the R90 very soon we found out the people love the puristic, the mechanical side of emotional of a motorcycle. And this was so important for us to get these answers from the market, for us to get the guideline, let's say, for this project. So the logical consequence was to go back into time to in, in our own history and see what BMW stands for. What, what was the past of BMW? What kind of motorcycle have we done in the past? So we had a look in our classic department and there we find some beautiful motorcycles. Like especially back in the 30s when the bikes had still rigid frames. This was the time when the fly line was the most beautiful one. So we picked especially the R5 from the 30s and we had a closer look and we found so many beautiful elements. And so we did our homework, let's say. We, we had a closer look to some uh, specific elements and we had the idea to transport these in the modern times. So the history was actually the idea behind it. And now we started this project in this way and we've been so happy that we found these uh, clean solutions also for this motorcycle. So in this cruiser world, it is very important that you can create your own motorcycle. Everyone is different. Everyone has his own taste. And so people love to express their own taste on a motorcycle. That's why it's so important to have parts to get the job done. And so we put a lot of effort in uh, having also alternative parts, let's say. And so we focused on the main elements which is so important for customizing. This is the handlebars. You have different versions, you have different seats, you have different wheels. And then you have, of course, for BMW, very important, the covers of the engine, like the side covers, the valve covers, and the front cover. And the cool thing is, it is so easy to change them because underneath the oil area is sealed by another cover. And so it's so easy, it's just two screws. You get it off, you get a different version on. And also like minor things, like different mirrors, different bags and stuff, which gives you your own style, the possibility of creating your own motorcycle. So in this cruiser world, it is very important that you can create your own motorcycle. Everyone is different. Everyone has his own taste. And so people love to express their own taste on a motorcycle. That's why it's so important to have parts to get the job done. And so we put a lot of effort in uh, having also alternative parts, let's say. And so we focused on the main elements, which is so important for customizing. 
This is the handlebars. You have different versions, you have different seats, you have different wheels, and then you have, of course, for BMW, very important, the covers of the engine, like the side covers, the valve covers, and the front cover. And the cool thing is, it is so easy to change them because underneath the oil area is sealed by another cover. And so it's so easy, it's just two screws. You get it off, you get a different version on. And also like minor things, like different mirrors, different bags and stuff, which gives you your own style, the possibility of creating your own motorcycle. So the boxer engine means life. So the fascination of that bike to me is, is the purity of the bike. It's the cleanness. There's no clutter on the bike. On the one hand, it's a very contemporary bike. It has all the modern technology you need for noise and, requ and emission requirements, lots of sensors, cables, wires and stuff. But you don't see any of it. What you see is the, is the mechanical part of it. And it's the, the staged mechanics. Mechanics as the, the luxury of the future. And you see it everywhere. It's the dominating engine, it's all the details, it's the shapes, it's the refinement. And this is very fascinating to me. So the fascination of that bike to me is, is the purity of the bike. It's the cleanness. There's no clutter on the bike. On the one hand, it's a very contemporary bike. It has all the modern technology you need for noise and, requ and emission requirements, lots of sensors, cables, wires and stuff. But you don't see any of it. What you see is the, is the mechanical part of it. And it's the, the staged mechanics. Mechanics as the, the luxury of the future. And you see it everywhere. It's the dominating engine, it's all the details, it's the shapes, it's the refinement. And this is very fascinating to me. BMW motorbikes are built in Berlin since 1969. And building a classic motorbike like this one, it's a must for us to build it also in Berlin. And we're proud of it, to build it in Berlin. And therefore, we put the sign Berlin built into the speedometer. BMW motorbikes are built in Berlin since 1969. And building a classic motorbike like this one, it's a must for us to build it also in Berlin. And we're proud of it, to build it in Berlin. And therefore, we put the sign Berlin built into the speedometer. BMW Motorrad builds motorbikes since 1923 and Boxer engine was always the core element from BMW motorbikes. And we translated the Boxer engine here in this new cruiser bike with 1800cc and with a torque always above 150 newton meters in a range from 2000 to 4000 rpm. BMW Motorrad builds motorbikes since 1923 and Boxer engine was always the core element from BMW motorbikes. And we translated the Boxer engine here in this new cruiser bike with 1800cc and with a torque always above 150 newton meters in a range from 2000 to 4000 rpm. Die A18 First Edition hat folgende Besonderheiten. Die historische Tanklinierung, ein umfangreiches Chrompaket, die Plaketten auf den Seitendeckeln und exklusiv auf der Sitzbank. Die A18 First Edition hat folgende Besonderheiten. Die historische Tanklinierung, ein umfangreiches Chrompaket, die Plaketten auf den Seitendeckeln und exklusiv auf der Sitzbank. Als ich zehn Jahre alt war, habe ich mich das erste Mal 
heimlich auf eine R80G-S von meinem Papa gesetzt und einen BMW Boxermotor wahrgenommen. Und diese Emotion ist bei mir wieder aufgekommen mit Übernahme des Projekts R18 und ich bin unheimlich stolz, was wir als Team auf die Straße gebracht haben. Als ich zehn Jahre alt war, habe ich mich das erste Mal heimlich auf eine R80G-S von meinem Papa gesetzt und einen BMW Boxermotor wahrgenommen. Und diese Emotion ist bei mir wieder aufgekommen mit Übernahme des Projekts R18 und ich bin unheimlich stolz, was wir als Team auf die Straße gebracht haben.